Thomas coming to you with another video review. And today, thanks to the folks at Sideshow Collectibles, we're going to be taking a look at the new 2013 Toy Fair Captain America in his Star Spangled Man USO Tour costume. Now, while this figure was a Toy Fair exclusive available only at Toy Fair overseas, here in the United States, it's exclusively available through Sideshow Collectibles. As you can see, absolutely gorgeous packaging on here. I love the fact that the actual star is embossed. So as you run your hand over it, you can feel it elevated from the actual background. Really very nice. You do have the Captain America First Avenger logo right here on the front, as well as Hot Toys and the Movie Masterpiece series. As this is a Movie Masterpiece series, limited edition figure number 205. And then you got a nice image of the figure there, Captain America. Captain America on the uh, bottom. Again, it says Captain America. You got a bigger image of uh, Captain America on the side here. And then when you come around near the back, you got a big image of Steve all decked out for the very first time in the Captain America garb. In addition to that, you have all the credits as well as the warning labels and things of that nature here on the back. Now, this isn't a slip cover. It's just like a, a, a shoe box kind of box, I suppose. It just slides up like so and then on the inside you have another image of captain america doing the, the pointing look which is really cool i do dig that and then you have a nice read up here on the bottom and it says captain america ineligible for the armed services due to a small stature and sickly disposition the patriotic steve rogers instead volunteered for a top secret military experiment called project rebirth Recognized for his valor and strategic aptitude, Rogers was injected with the Super Soldier Serum, which transfigured his cellular structure and transformed him into the perfect physical specimen. Heightened endurance, increased strength, and an indestructible vibranium shield gave Rogers an edge in combat. But it was his courage and unwavering dedication to the greater good that will shape him into an enduring symbol of freedom. And then this just slides out just like so it's just a little piece of cardboard or whatever and uh, as you can see falling out is his guns and then you have the nice clamshell packaging with his shield his hands obviously the stand his weapons and then the figure right there in the center really a very cool look and very iconic in terms of the original suit so that being said without further ado let's take a look at him and see how cool he actually is Alright guys, so here we have Captain America open up and out of its packaging. And as I mentioned previously, this is the Star Spangled Man version, which basically means that even after Steve Rogers went through Project Rebirth and was all buffed up, he still really wasn't all that welcome in terms of actual active service. So what the government essentially decided to do was uh, put him on a sales pitch, which is basically the USO shows. Essentially what they tried to do was use Captain America to sell war bonds because each war bond was a bullet in your best guy's gun or something like that and that costume that he wore while going around to those various shows is basically represented here and as i said this is the first time that we see him in the full kind of captain america garb now it changes later on in the movie this is just a costume essentially when he meets tony stark i'm sorry tony stark's dad howard when he meets howard he has a few design changes that he wants to implement to the suit and uh, even the shield to allow it to be more of a functional sort of outfit to use while he's going through combat now all the accessories that he comes with are again recreated from the USO scene. So starting off with his accessories, much like with all Hot Toy releases, we do get the stand with the adjustable cradle and as you can see it says Captain America Star Spangled Man uh, version. You got Captain America First Avenger, you got the adjustable cradle right there. And then in addition to that, he comes with extra hands. Uh, you got uh, a pair of just relaxed hands that uh, really don't have a pointing kind of look, but they're relaxed-ish. He's got two hands that are designed for guns. One, as you can see, is a wider gun hand designed for his uh, rifle, I'm gonna call it, and then a smaller one for his handgun. And then he's got another one, which is more of a pointing finger. Uh, at least I'm, I'm assuming it is. I guess you could use that for actual guns as well, but those are his uh, various hands that he has. And then he also does come with two additional pegs. Now, that's one thing that I really wish that they would improve upon. I wish they would include pegs for every hand that they give you. That's one thing that Sideshow Collectibles with their figures does that I really do appreciate. Up next is his shield. And again, this is just a regular shield. This isn't his vibranium shield that he gets later on. This is just the shield that he uses to protect Americans, basically. 
and it becomes fairly attached to it. On the back here, you have the straps for them. One thing that is absolutely phenomenal, as I'm dropping it all over the place, is that he also comes with paper that <laughs> it's going to be almost impossible to show you. You can read it if you get it really up close to your face, but let me see if I can zoom in closer. I don't know how uh, blurred that's actually going to be, but this actually is the script to the song, The Star Spangled Man with the Plan. You got the girl verses, as well as the parts where Steve Rogers is supposed to speak up. So essentially you have a script, then you can tape it to the back. I'm not going to actually do it, but like in the movie, he had it taped onto the back of his shield. I'll just put that there and, uh, well, let's see if I can just do that. Now, it also does come with little bits of tape that they recommend you use when you want to actually stick it on there. Uh, I think that's a wonderful touch. Again, really adds to that entire scene, and that's wonderful detail that I just absolutely love. It comes with two shoulder bits that just sling over. Uh, you got a, a whole bunch of bullets right here, and then just a regular leather strap. I don't think it's actually leather, although it does kind of feel like leather, so like faux leather, but both of these just crisscross over his chest, and I'll show that off here in just a bit. But again, wonderful detail on the bullets. I'm always amazed when you you look at all the bullets and they're all individually painted and just very nicely detailed and it also does come with a belt now this belt is, is, is a bit of a uh, I don't want to say problematic but it can be a bit of a problem sometimes especially with these little clips zooming in so that you can really see that uh, you can see a very thin wire bit that attaches onto the front and then it goes around to the back now what you can actually do if you I don't know why you would want to but you can remove these. What's the one that always comes out? Well, it's kind of it's kind of this one, but you can see I'm trying to hook that out just like so. Um, it can detach from it, which can be a bit of a problem um, when you're trying to adjust things. And like I said, the wire is very thin, so you want to be fragile with it. Uh, it. It feels very sturdy. It's metal bits, and then this is actual cloth, but I mean, look at the detail on here. You got USA written on there. This is adjustable. It slides around, and then you got the uh, the clips for that, or I'm sorry, the, uh, the the strap for that can actually go over the additional part on the belt as well. So amazing detail on here. Now, uh, US, I have no idea what this actually is. It doesn't remove the, the, there is a button up there, but you can see that it's sewn shut. Then he has his, his holster for his handgun. This does clip down, but it's, a, again, a little bit of a pain in the butt to actually try to do. You just kind of push it through the hole here on the little flap. And then you got one more little compartment right there. Uh, I mean, it's really super awesome. And I actually think that I have it. Is it upside down? This, well, let's see. No, there we go. Like so. Um, but, I mean, really very, very cool. Now, my complaint, I guess, on this would be it's, it's a little bit difficult to actually get this to hook around his waist. Uh, you do have to do a little s stretching, but once you get it, it hooks on. And again, I'll show this off later on, but you got the little clasp right there. He does come with a handgun that, as I showed here, you do have the, the holster for it. And just flopping that little flap up stores right inside there. And then, like I said, you can bring this down. It, it doesn't really, you have to really stretch it to get it to come all the way down and latch on, but I just leave it flapped open like this. But the gun itself is actually really nice. It doesn't cock or anything up here, uh, but you can remove the bullets, just slides right out. And again, wonderful detail on the painted bullet right up in there. Super awesome. I love that you can do that. It's a wonderful touch that, again, I really don't think that they needed to do because these were basically props. He used these in various scenes that were essentially filmed as movies and propaganda material for the war. So, uh, I mean, whether or not this is actually a, one of the guns that he used remains to be seen. But I think the wonderful detail on here is just superb. And you can see a really nice wash job on there. It gives it a very metallic look. Absolutely gorgeous piece. And then we come to his rifle. And again, this was a gun that we saw him utilizing in some of the propaganda films. Uh, you do have extra or a little sight that can lift up just like so. I love this. This actually can cock or, or slide as a, as a trigger or something like that. That actually fires the, the bullet out and then this bit right here slides down and then again you can see wonderful detail with the bullet right in there and then this just slides right back up you would cock the gun pull the trigger boom i mean absolutely gorgeous detail on this and honestly this is probably where you would use this hand 
uh, for the trigger and then maybe this one right here to come around here to have them hold it like so or something like that uh, that's my guess I'm, I'm I'm gonna stick with that that's what we're gonna say but again the detail in level of craftsmanship that goes into just the smallest little bits on here just absolutely wonderful as I said this was a gun that essentially seemed like it was just a prop so for them to put all this extra stuff in here I mean I can't imagine that a prop gun would have bullets there so why why do you have to put it in there but they did and that's absolutely gorgeous now as for the figure itself much like Hot Toys did with the accessories, they very nicely, faithfully recreated the look of Steve Rogers in the Captain America outfit as he appeared at the USO Tours. I mean, this is an absolute, like I said, wonderful representation of it. All the way down to his uh, really ridiculous short shorts, as you can see him wearing. I mean, everything on here is just superb <laughs> uh, even though he is uh, wearing tights but again it's all very accurate I mean he even makes a joke about the tights in the movie now starting off with his articulation first the head as you can see does feature a all new sculpt because obviously the the mask and the helmet that he wore in this particular version is different than what he wore with the Avengers and things of that nature so really very nice and that likeness is incredible really very accurate looking and I love the little wings and how they're actually protruding that's one thing that they got away from in the Avenger look uh, they just had the wings kind of almost painted on I, just something about that it, it's a classic look I love those sticking out really very nice now the head is a little bit more limited because this whole piece right here is all molded together so the only real articulation I mean you get it looking up and down left and right and, and you pop it off but as you can see the ball joint is inside there most of the articulation that you're getting is with this piece right here so popping that back on there uh, as you can see it is separate and it kind of sticks out like when you turn his head a little bit you can see it separating but this was a mask separate from the actual costume itself so I don't mind that very much it, it gives a kind of an authentic accurate look to it he just pulled it over his head and it kind of draped overneath him or over his upper body so it works fine for me but that's all you're gonna get for the articulation in the head like I said it mostly comes in that neck joint down there the shoulders move that far out uh, I wish it had a little bit more outward movement I mean, it's not bad but you, you are limited in terms of the poses when that's as far as you can get it he does rotate and then you, you could get it rotating all the way around but it's a little limited because of the outfit but one thing that's nice is that this is a very stretchy material much like if you remember the 1978 Superman the Christopher Reeves version that that's kind of what the same stretchy material is here so you get that rotation move forward moves back it is on a very stiff joint it does uh, rotate here at the shoulder just sort of like that it bends here at the elbow it rotates at the elbow he does rotate at the wrist now the the wrist I'm gonna actually pull the hand off so that you can see what's going on pulling that off sliding that down the articulation all comes in this bit right here so when you put that back in there you can get some uh, forward and back motion it does rotate all the way around so nice level of articulation in the hand uh, courtesy of the way that the actual joint is so just stick that back up in there just like so uh, he does have the upper ab crunch right there he does rotate side to side very limited as well because of the way that the outfit is but you can rotate it around uh, a little bit the hips here move forward they move back about that far which honestly that's that's fairly accurate to how a human moves their legs so I mean most people can't get their legs I mean they can do splits and stuff and then most of the splitting just comes when from this leg extending for you, you don't get that going back that much but you got that moves in and out it rotates at the upper part of the thigh he's got two bends here at the knee so you can get a real nice range of motion there with the actual leg then down here at the ankle they do rotate uh, I would imagine there's a little bit of pivot left and right and forward and back and that's just because of the, the way that the boot is and I, I just love these boots again very classic look with the the, the cuff kind of coming down here really very nice and you can see that they are a little oversized so that allows a little bit of movement in the actual foot but not very much and honestly my, my guess would be that this entire foot is just all molded in one piece so I'm absolutely gorgeous detail like I said you got the the short shorts that he wore you got the tights underneath you got his belt here I mean absolutely wonderful now coming to the back of him you can see that he does have a zipper up here I'm not gonna mess with it at all because too many times I've seen people that have actually moved the zipper and the zipper part has detached so I'm not 
going to even bother messing with that. That's just, uh, it's something that scares me. So I'm not going to waste my time with it. But this, this guy is absolutely amazing looking. I really love the look on him. And if you do happen to have uh, an extra Steve Rogers head, like I have from the Avengers version, you can take this, pop this, oh, this is a little bit trickier to do. Uh, just kind of wiggle that. It's on a ball joint inside there, so just pull that out just like that. And you can take this, stick that down there, and now you have him without his mask on. And it gives you a nice option. Now, he really didn't wear this suit without having the, the mask on. I think maybe there was one time where he didn't do it, but I mean, to me, I mean, that that's not bad, although he kind of looks like he's puffing his chest out. I mean, it's it's not bad, I don't think. I, I think that's nice. So that, that is a nice option in case of uh, you as a collector wanting to vary up various poses and looks for your Captain America figure. And speaking of various display options, once you get all the accessories hooked up to them, this is how you basically have Captain America looking. As I said, recreating how he looked in the propaganda films, and it, it just is absolutely wonderful. I mean... Everything on here, like I said, the belt is a little bit of a pain in the butt to get attached to him. But you can do it. It really isn't all that bad. But it's just a gorgeous looking figure. Everything about it just looks so incredibly terrific when you get it all situated and, and dressed up. It's it's really a very iconic look for Captain America. And I'm so thrilled to actually have a, a figure that nicely replicates kind of that classic look. Going back to the comics, the golden age of Captain America is nicely replicated here by this particular outfit. Now the bottom line is that Captain America has always been a very iconic character in American pop culture. And honestly, who would have thought a character who previously played the Human Torch would be able to do such a good job instilling all those wonderful qualities that make us like Captain America so successfully? And that's really what I think of when I look at this figure. This is a classic representation, as I said, of that golden age Captain America. And I love the look. The gloves, how they're kind of big and bulky. You got the boots with the cuffs that kind of hang over. You got the old style shield, even the mask. All of it put together gives you a very nice old-fashioned feel. In the film, when we saw this, it was one of the, the goosebump moments, I suppose. At least for me. I absolutely loved seeing that suit come into play and be used. And as I said, it was just a huge sense of a nostalgia. Now, as I said, this was a Toy Fair exclusive that Sideshow Collectibles has brought over to the United States for us. So because of that, it has a little bit higher of a price tag, but really not all that bad. When you compare it to the, the typical price for Hot Toy figures being about $200 to $250, this guy falls right in there nicely. At $215, I think the price is wonderful, considering you do get a fair amount of accessories, and the fact that this is a more limited piece. All that being said, if you are interested in getting this guy, I would absolutely recommend picking him up, especially if you are a Captain America fan. Without a doubt, this figure is well worth adding to your collection. And if you are interested in doing so, go ahead and click on the link down in the video description. You'll go to Sideshow Collectibles, where you can pick this guy up and add him to your collection today. But beyond that, guys, I want to thank you for tuning in. This has been Optobotomous. Keep in touch with me. Find our recent purchases as well as all upcoming video reviews all at Facebook.com slash TeamBotomous. And follow me over on Twitter at Twitter.com slash Optobotomous. And until next time, I'll talk to you later.